Hi, it's Lynette with Mill Creek Kids. Welcome, we're so glad you joined us online. Today we've got our some great worship planned, we've got a Bible story, we've got our memory verse, and stick around for everybody's favorite, Craft Corner. Let the king of my heart be the mountain where I run, the fountain I drink from, oh, is my song. Let the king of my heart be the shadow where I hide, the ransom for my life, oh, is my song, cause you are good. You're good, oh, you are good, you're good.
never gonna let me down You're never gonna let You're never gonna let me down You're never gonna let You're never gonna let me down You're never gonna let You're never gonna let me So last week was Easter, and so I've always wondered, what happened next? What happened to the disciples? What were they thinking? What were they doing? So go ahead and watch this video. We're gonna find out, and then we'll talk about it. Thomas was one of Jesus' 12 disciples. For three years, Thomas had followed Jesus around everywhere. And Thomas had seen Jesus do amazing things. Thomas had seen Jesus make a man whose legs didn't work get up and walk. Thomas had seen Jesus feed a very hungry crowd with just a few fish and some bread. And Thomas had seen Jesus walk on water and in the middle of the night, in the middle of the storm, step into a boat and the wind and the waves stopped still. And Thomas had seen Jesus make people who were blind see. Thomas had seen it all. Then Thomas saw soldiers arrest Jesus and Jesus was taken and Jesus was put on a cross. Thomas saw Jesus die. And when Jesus was dead, Jesus' body was taken down and Jesus' body was put into a cave and a big stone was rolled across in front of the cave. Jesus was dead. The disciples, they were very, very sad. And the disciples were also very, very scared. If they killed Jesus, they might kill them as well. So Jesus' disciples all except Thomas, huddled together inside a room. Then the disciples closed the door and locked it. Suddenly, Jesus appeared in the middle of the room. Jesus smiled at his disciples and said, Peace be with you. Then Jesus held out his hand and he showed his disciples where the nails had gone through. Then Jesus showed them his side where the spear had gone through. It really, really was Jesus. The disciples then, they ran to find Thomas. And when they found Thomas, they said, Thomas, Thomas, Jesus is alive. But Thomas said, I will not believe. I will not believe that Jesus is alive unless I see for myself his hands where the nails went through unless I put my hand on his side 
where the spear went through. I will not believe. One week later, Jesus' disciples were again huddled together inside a room. This time, Thomas was with them. Again, they closed the door and locked it. Then suddenly, Jesus was standing there in the middle of the room. Jesus then turned to Thomas and he said, Thomas, look at my hands. Thomas, look at my side. Stop doubting and believe. Then Thomas fell to his knees and Thomas cried out, My Lord and my God. So we just saw the story of Thomas, one of the original disciples who after this became known always, even now you hear about doubting Thomas, because it wasn't until he could touch Jesus and see Jesus for himself that he believed he had been um, resurrected and brought back to life and that he had defeated death. And what I love about Jesus and what he tells Thomas is this, he didn't like get mad at Thomas, he didn't make Thomas feel bad because he had doubt or fear. He accepted Thomas and out of love and said, you are, you are my disciple, I love you. And that tells us that even though there's times when we may doubt, when we may wonder, when we may go, I don't understand or I don't believe, Jesus meets us there and he helps us and he gives us um, words and wisdom and, and people in our lives to share with us and tell us just how much Jesus loves us so that we can believe and we also know it's okay to doubt because we can always find our answers in Jesus. This week, we will start a new Bible verse. The last thing Jesus instructed his disciples before he went up into heaven, he said these words, therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Matthew 28, 19. Let's all read it together. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Matthew 28, 19. Let's read it again. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Matthew 28, 19. One more time. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Matthew 28, 19. Great job. Keep practicing. We'll be memorizing this one again next week. Welcome to Craft Corner. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. <laughs> we have a really cool, interesting craft today. It may seem very simple to you, but there is a very interesting illusion to it. Twist. A twist. Okay. So we just, we, we heard the awesome story about doubting Thomas. And what was one of the things that he said, Marsha, that he said he wouldn't believe that it was Jesus unless... He could touch the holes in his hands and his feet and his side. And his side, yes. right? Which is kind of, kind of creepy because <laughs> Jesus had a hole in his hand because he had hung on the cross, right? Yeah. So this is a this is a craft that is also an illusion mm -hmm. where if you take a tube now i have a long like a paper towel tube and i have our trusty toilet paper tube because we love trusty. toilet paper craft. we love it me too yes <laughs> now the longer your tube is the smaller the hole will appear but all you have to do is look through the tube with one eye and hold your hand up to the tube with the other and there is an illusion as though there is a hole right through the middle of your hand. It is pretty crazy. Now, oh, you can't wow. see that, but when you do this, you'll be able to see yeah, it. Exactly. You have to have both eyes open and your hand directly next to the tube. 
It's pretty amazing. And it's, it's like amazing. you're looking right, there's a, there's a hole right there's through the middle of your hand. It's pretty amazing. Oh, yeah. So we're basically just decorating our tube That's so that right. it just doesn't get thrown away in the garbage and someone thinks, oh, it's just the toilet paper roll. Exactly. Or, oh, it's just from the... It's an illusional... Yes. Yes. And I just realized that I think if you don't have any tubes at home, because you know there is toilet paper brands that do not put them on tubes yes, anymore. Yes, yes. Mm, so you may not, true. you can actually, like this is a little thicker piece of paper. So yep. I'm gonna make my tube out of Right out paper. of a piece of paper. Mm. And that will work. Yeah. Or I'm making you could use it. this too. I'm sure. Because it's got a hole in it. That's it a really big hole in my hand now. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much anything that you can look through, mm. a tube that you can look through can be used for this illusion. Yeah, wow. pretty cool. Nice. And Can we I get just some glue or tape. Oh yeah, yeah. Let me get one more. There we go. You. So do something to your tube, your craft tube, or your piece of paper that just identifies it as yours, so that you know that that one's yours. See, I made mine a little longer with the paper, so oh. it looks even smaller. Oh, oh, see, yeah. it's true. The longer the tube is, the smaller the hole appears on your That's right. in, going through the middle of your hand. Yeah. yeah. Even though you don't really have a hole in the middle of your hand, <laughs> it's a Hopefully it's not. a pretty neat um, it's pretty awesome. illusion. I know it. It's pretty cool. Oh, I got these cute little stickers. I'm gonna stick on mine. I'm actually gonna just do it on my little toilet paper roll because my other tube came out a little wonky, and so mm -hmm. it doesn't do it work as well. You need it really to be. Oh, there it goes. Wow, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, I love it. It's so much fun. You can like take it and. Amaze all your friends and family. Yes. And there you have it. Decorate a tube, hold it up, look straight through, and you can see a hole in your hand. Oh my gosh. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. <laughs> so thank you for joining us for Craft Corner. We will see you next week.